Hello, everybody, and good morning. Yes, we are headed down to Colorado today. I uh, will be leaving the ranch here in Wyoming, be headed across the snowy range through Laramie all the way to Fort Collins. We're going to do some shopping in Fort Collins. Most likely, we'll be picking up a garden trailer uh, to pull behind the Model X here. Then we're continuing down into Denver, and we're going to pick up some stuff here, pick up stuff everywhere down in the Denver area, and then head home later today. It is 93% uh, on the clock, and uh, what's the temperature? 34. Let's go. Just heading up to Snowy Range Road now. Here's the arrival percentage in Fort Collins, 47%. We're uh, currently at 91 here. We're just at 10,000 feet here. As you can see, it's uh, pretty nice. The best part's coming up, though. We'll uh, go around this hill here. And uh, where that lake is there, just above it, is uh, some pretty neat views. going through the mountain. A lot of people use this road to get from one side of the mountain to the next. So you just pull over and let them go. Beautiful through here. This is the best side of the mountain because it's 10 miles of uh, down and uh, for an EV it's uh, extra special. We uh, go downhill here all the way to the town of Centennial and uh, if you look at the power meter here, you can see we use no energy. In fact, um, we uh, use less than uh, that because <laughs> it's uh, absolutely all downhill here. The uh, fossil fuel cars, however, have to ride their brakes, uh, burning up valuable energy. In the case of the EV here, driving one pedal driving, I simply let my foot off the accelerator and then that transfers uh, even more energy into charging the battery. Poor guy wasting energy.
looks like it's about 25 miles now to Laramie. We don't need to supercharge, we'll go all the way to Fort Collins, but I think we'll stop and use facilities here. This is a, a long straight road here. We're running autopilot as usual here. It's a pretty straight road. We're just about at Laramie and then we'll head south. Yeah, we stopped here at a uh, good old Scottish breakfast lunch place, McDonald's. Thought we'd get a little coffee and uh, continue our trip. Got another 77 miles to go. Expected uh, arrival percentage is 39%. All right, I guess we're good to go. Let's move it. We're out here on Highway 287, and uh, we changed our destination from uh, the Lowe's uh, hardware store to the Loveland Supercharger, which is right next door. We're gonna get a little bit of charge here before we mess around today. That way, uh, when we get the trailer uh, we're supposed to buy, we don't have to disconnect it. So it's good thinking on my wife's part. We'll do that and uh, we'll see you at Loveland. Just south of Laramie, let's have a look around. It's uh, just down here. Yeah, there's a sign if you can see it. Well, trust me, it says, welcome to beautiful, colorful Colorado. All right, well, we're now in Colorado, and the road conditions have changed to worse. Temperatures dropped here. It's uh, now 37. That's uh, probably why we're seeing all of this uh, fog-looking stuff here. Looks like we need to switch to IFR. Yeah. Instrument flight rules. <laughs> We're going to be off the highway here in a couple miles on to Owl Canyon, but it's gotten pretty soupy as you can see. This is uh, Owl Canyon. It's kind of a shortcut. Takes us in uh, across to. Now here. turn left onto West County Road 72. What she said. We're heading over to Interstate 25. You can see a short trip through Owl Canyon and then on to farm roads to Interstate 25. We're on Interstate 25 headed south and uh, no federal money here roads are really bad. We're in construction here in, uh, in uh, I don't know, north of uh, Supercharger in Loveland. I will tell you though, it's the first time we've seen where the car is actually preconditioning the battery, uh, mainly because it's so cold. It's uh, 43 degrees. So up to this point, we have needed it, but uh, now uh, we're seeing that the uh, car is preconditioning the battery prior to supercharging. That will uh, certainly speed our uh, charge here in Loveland. Just about ready to get off the interstate here. We've got 2.7 miles. As you can see, we get off and loop around a little bit. We're just making our way through the Embassy Suites parking lot. It's around the interstate side of the Embassy Suites is a 10 stall, 150 kilowatt supercharger. Been there lots, nice area. If you come here, uh, it's nice inside of In the Embassy. feet, your destination will be on the right. It's nice inside of the Embassy Suites for a restroom break or what have you. With this being a 150 kilowatt charger, you need to uh, look at the charge stands. Uh, they split power between the A and B charge stands. So this first one is 1A, 1B. We're gonna pull into 2A here 
and uh, if nobody's here, then of course, then we're uh, good for a while. We'll get uh, the full power. Oh, that guy's leaving. Another Tesla's showing up here. Let's see where he goes. If he goes to the other end, then uh, we'll pull into 1B, kind of guards 1A, and the uh, chance of somebody charging there will be a uh, minimum. Let's see what happens. We'll move it over one, and uh, that'll put us in uh, 1B, and that'll allow us to uh, kind of semi-guard 1A. The chance of somebody pulling into 1A is going to be uh, probably slim. Of course, I say that. Hmm. Trying to get that trailer hitch in there. Okay, we're good. Let's get it charged. All right, we are hooked up here. Let's see what we get. Charge handle was cold, which means nobody had actually been on 1B, which is fine. Doesn't matter. I think we get more power in the deal when uh, that doesn't happen. So, okay, come on now. Give me 140. It's kind of a high state of charge at 39%. It's okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. We're charging here in Loveland. This is a 10 stall 150. Cars are coming and going. This is a good location right off Interstate 25. And of course, it's uh, in the parking lot of the Embassy Suites, uh, restrooms and everything else in there. It's pretty nice. So far in today's trip, we have uh, 153 miles and uh, used uh, 46 kilowatt hours to get here and uh, an average of 303 watt hours per mile. This is only a dent. Uh, we've got lots of messing around down here. So we're gonna top up and then go eat and then uh, go do whatever and do some shopping. We are at 90%. Yep, we're uh, heading out. We're gonna go get something to eat now and head down the road. Let's unplug and go. We are in Lowe's. It's a uh, gigantic hardware store. We were able to uh, find what we needed. Plus, we're going to buy a trailer to haul it in. So there you go. We're uh, just getting the last items here now. You won't believe what we're buying now. That's all I can say. Yep, just picking up our new trailer at Trailers Plus. It is now 7.20 p.m. I don't know what this guy is doing. And he doesn't know what he's doing. Golly. Anyway, we uh, have a trailer now. We have a trailer full. Feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. We have a trailer full of stuff we picked up here at Lowe's. So we had to buy a trailer to carry the stuff we were bringing home from Lowe's. Sue's over at Walmart. We're headed there now. And uh, we'll pick her up. And then we're heading back to Saratoga. Uh, it's about three hours, I think. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. We will have to probably most likely stop in Laramie Supercharger, which is fine. I uh, planned on doing that. This way we can get up over the snowy range and then uh, head that way. So it's been a good day, but it's been long. We're waiting for Sue to finish up shopping in Walmart. Let's uh, navigate to our uh, next stop. We're going to the Laramie Supercharger right here. Now we haven't charged since Loveland. We should have plenty of energy. And uh, it looks like we're going to arrive with 23% pulling the trailer. That's excellent. Once us get back out on the highway, and uh, we'll flip this around here, probably the fastest. Uh, it wants us uh, then to go up Owl Canyon and then get on Highway uh, 287, which will take us uh, right up to Laramie. It's uh, an hour and 30 minutes, 87 miles. As soon as we get out of here, we're hitting the road. Yeah, there's always another hole in the Model X here for stuff from Walmart, and it is now technically full. We're now on Interstate 25 northbound, 
We're going to be getting off up here in 7.7 .7 miles and then take us through Owl Canyon to Highway 287 right up to Laramie. Our arrival percentage is uh, now 18%. Once we get off the highway here, I think it'll uh, calm down a little bit, I hope. We're now on Highway 287 headed north, as you can see. As we continue down Highway 287, uh, looks like uh, we've got 25% in the battery and 11% uh, on arrival, which is fine, as long as it's a positive number. We're continuing to uh, go uphill, and you can tell by the amount of power used. And then uh, we crested up here and then uh, down into the uh, Laramie Valley here, or whatever you call it. Let's do an energy check. Uh, looks like 18% in the battery. And uh, we're still showing 11% on arrival. And uh, we've got uh, 19 minutes to go to the supercharger in Laramie. And yes, it's as dark as an inside of a cow out here. At your destination. We have arrived at the Laramie Supercharger. It's in the parking lot of the Fairfield by Marriott. This is a 150 kilowatt supercharger and it's showing nobody here charging, which means that we are going to have a pull in spot and I don't have to disconnect the trailer. So let's see how I can ninja this such that somebody can drive behind me. Let's see here. I'll take out the charging stand or my wheel. You know what? That's about it. Let's see if I can plug this in. Kind of a long stretch, but I think we're okay. Oh yeah, check it out. Ready? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's the trailer, plenty of room for everybody to get by, and I think we're good. We're plugged in here in Laramie. I was able to ninja the pull-in spot, and nobody was here, it's no problem. I do need to pump up the tires. We'll do that after we get going. Arrived at 7%. It estimated 7%, obviously. Uh, we should ramp up. It's real low state of charge. It'll go for a little bit, then come up. We uh, stopped and got a Scottish dinner. So I'm gonna have my hamburger while we're sitting here charging. We're now at 15% and 142 kilowatts. That's what I'm talking about. Charge to 71%. And I just uh, ninjaed this thing around in a uh, semicircle, so we're good to go. Put this in drive, showing 26% um, on arrival. Let's go. We've left Laramie, we're on the Snowy Range Road, and uh, it says one hour and 15 minutes, 70 miles. And it's dark. Just coming into the town of Centennial at night. Don't see this very often. Let's see what we got here. See the mountain by moonlight. We're getting close now. I think we got about seven miles or six miles to go. And as you can see, uh, front right tire. I've been hearing a thumping since uh, Laramie. I'm afraid there might be something in it. But it's okay. We should be uh, home here in five miles now. Getting close. 
We're back at the house, uh, 29%, and that front right tire is losing air. So in the morning, it'll probably be pretty low. It was a long trip. We drove all the way down to Fort Collins and then south from there. And uh, then we couldn't buy a trailer after we picked out all our stuff at Lowe's. They don't know of anybody in the store to be able to do the paperwork. I don't get it. You advertise, you've got trailers outside. When a customer comes and buys it, you have no one to process the order. So we left our pile of uh, goods there at uh, Lowe's. We jumped in the car at 10 after four and raced up to Trailers America. I think that's what it was, or Trailers Plus, I think it is. And uh, we bought a trailer, got out of there about 5.30. Then headed back. Uh, we had to do another Lowe's stop at a different Lowe's up north. We did that and they didn't have what we wanted. We then headed south. Uh, dropped my wife off at uh, Walmart. We then uh, went on to Lowe's, paid for everything, loaded it in the trailer, picked up my wife back at Walmart and headed home. Uh, we stopped uh, at a Scottish dinner. Got a hamburger and a pie and uh, some coffee keep me going went over to the supercharger and uh, charged and uh, then drove home got here at 29 percent i think the predicted was uh, 27 or something i have to look on the video all in all it was a good day i ran over something uh, when i left mcdonald's tonight the tire was thumping I went to the supercharger and drove all the way home and uh, it went from, I don't know, 40 some pounds. We added air in uh, Laramie, but all the tires are at 44 and 45, except for the front right, it's now at 39. That's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, if you like today's video, go ahead and click the like. And if you would, please subscribe. You know, I'd certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Watch for some more videos from Wyoming and take care.